Bring it back. Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Oriental Empires. If you remember last time, we started our first episode as the Shu managed to establish three cities and won our first military battle against our newfound enemies. Um, so, we're continuing with that basically. War just broke out between us and the Bach. They're now hostile towards us. Um, they pillaged one of our farms, which was a bit of a pain. But, yeah, it's battle location. Uh, we managed to drive them off with our armies, and now we're at war. So, we want to continue to grow our cities, try and increase our income, and then look at starting to go on the offensive, hopefully. So, here our army has peasant spearmen. What other units do we have? A, 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 and we've got a garrison, yes, a bodyguard garrison. So, we'll try and assemble, I well, probably don't want to assemble them in the forest actually. We'll assemble them all over here. And then let's see if we can recruit more military units. So we have some peasant long spearmen, so let's have some light spearmen. Slightly more attack but a little less armor, probably because they've not got the range of the, the heavy spearmen. Uh, good population growth still, so that's all okay. Down here we're getting no population growth, that's probably because we've not got any farms, so yeah, we'll start to build more farms there, to a population of 5, and Zitong is still growing at 12.8%, which is good, but it's probably worth reducing that to invest in some farm building as well. So, everything's advancing along nicely, we're at war, uh, got a new leader, okay. Oh, that's probably because I oh, was killed in battle oh, against the, the Bach. Our leader was slain. Silk Weaver has been built. Oh, that's interesting. Let's have a quick look at that. So we built the Silk Weaver. So we've got a granite. Okay, that's interesting. We still can't upgrade our settlement, but Silk Weaver's done. Okay, let's fly into the next turn. is now grouping up. A light spearman sort of oops we're standing a bit, a bit close together there. It'll do. Uh, the enemy is retreated back across the river. Brilliant. Hopefully this will now end surely. Yep. Oh there's a battle was there? No, I wasn't aware of this. We lost nine men. There must have been some enemy troops hiding in the trees, which I didn't see. Oopsie daisy. Oh well. Well, we'll push it up to the river with our small little army, um, and that should give us a good, good holdout point. Uh, silk weaver value three. Okay. So I don't know if our silk weaver is actually exporting uh, roads boost trade. Can visit further on connecting them with a road. Well, how does one build a road? It's suggesting I have uh, road networks, but I don't really understand how you actually build a road, so I won't bother with that. Uh, farms under construction there. It's a civil war danger. Is that because of great unrest? But it doesn't really provide any ah. Okay, it's not sufficient authority. Can we build a building which increases authority? Well, we'll build a... Yeah, we'll start building a palace. That's got to increase authority, hasn't it? Uh, Zitong is building. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then I'll also... Going to recruit... Oh, I can't recruit any. Well, in a turn or two, I should be able to recruit some civilians. Should be useful. Uh, no technologies are finished, so let's head into the next turn. Okay, 
Okay, we're facing off against two people. Wow. Our light spearmen seem to be going in first. <laughs> you think these people would be a bit afraid of charging so many people? There's only two. Oh, they killed someone. Oh, they killed someone else. Oh, they killed a third man. Starting to get a bit of stab now. Oh, he's dead. But that must be their general there, look. Probably. Oops. Oop. Okay, I think that's them completely killed. Which is good. And the army has reformed on the riverbank. Brilliant. Okay, so it does look like we're about to have a revolt, which is not good, and I have no idea what that really means. So, I think we'll bring the army back to the city to try and sort of act as a bit of a defence. Uh, the palace is still under construction, so we can't make use of that yet. Um, we could build... Cause there's just a bit more unrest in the peasantry. But we'll assign people to build farms. These are the farms that got burnt down uh, when they got looted earlier. So it's probably worthwhile doing that. Also getting some unrest over here. I'm not quite sure why. Um, yeah, we're currently building walls. So that's fine. And then are we getting unrest? No, little unrest. Less unrest certainly over here. Since we're building, I'll assign more people to construct a farm. Right, let's quickly check the technologies. So, power has been finished. Uh, increase farm production. That's construction of roads. Okay, so they suggested road building may be very helpful for increasing trade, so we'll build that. Um, I was looking to recruit, when I'm able to, uh, settlers, because I want to build a fourth city over on the other side of the riverbank over there. But for now we cannot. So I'll pull our army back in case we get a revolt. So our troops can defend the city. Yeah, so the... Uh, the bringing back the troops did significantly reduce the, the noble unrest down quite a bit. I'll recruit them. Um, let's have a look. Garrison select. So hopefully that is just going to move the settlers. I don't want to move everyone, but we shall see if it does or not. Uh, there's a bit of unrest still going on over here and population growth ground to a halt so we'll start constructing more farms over here we've got pretty strong po bah, some population growth but that should increase when the next farm is built next turn uh, technology wise we've finished a craft technology it's largely just increasing produces siege damage from fire Enables construction of some mines. Increases culture. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's fly into the next turn. Yes, yeah, so that looks right. I think just our settlers have moved. I would send some armed units with them to defend them, but uh, sort of given how little uh, military we have and the current levels of unrest. Ah, it's due to having more settlements than your authority rating. So what then is my authority rating? Current turn, treasury. Ah, oh, I see. Can we? Ah, so 
So we're slightly detracted by the fact that our current leader has a personal authority of negative five. He has literally so little authority, it's unbelievable. So that's why we're getting quite a lot of unrest. So, it's actually probably a fairly bad time to start establishing a new city. But, with any luck, hopefully soon our leader will die or something like that, and then we shouldn't be in such a situation. Um, the palace is finished next turn, which is fine, it's all good. So we'll just continue growing our current cities. Um, they've built a farm there, the population is growing well, so I'll start construction on another farm. Let's quit that one and just check back at Chengdu. Yep, the farm's under construction. Okay, straight into the next turn. We'll find a spot for our settlers and just let them wait there for a while until so our leader is dead, or we increase our authority a little bit more. It's no good suggesting building another settlement when I have so little authority. Right, you can move further on. Okay, so these still getting population growth up to 19 population now, which is good. But I would like to consider building more farmland. So yeah, I'm going to build a bit more farmland here, even though it's on the outside of sort of the city limits. So I'm not quite sure of the impact of building a farm there. If it actually really helps the city, or will cause the city to grow, or what? I don't really know. But we'll do it all the same. Farm building well there. Chengdu farm is completed, so we're getting good population growth, nearly 20%. But I'll invest a bit of that back into building more farms. And we'll quickly check the technology. Uh, two are finishing next turn, but none finishing now. Okay, straight into the next turn. Settlers are moving up a little bit. Uh, other than that, not a lot to report. I mean, I could potentially try and advance with my army to try and see if I could invade somewhere, but uh, I don't know. But if it's worth it. So we can build a city, so let's do that. There. Ah, some some bandits over there. Could be a problem. Right, so again we start off with a very limited population, so I have to assign everyone to start and to construct some farms to increase the amount of food we have. Um, over here I may consider constructing Another unit of some form of infantry, perhaps some long spearmen. Costs a bit of maintenance, but I'm then going to garrison these in Xiaomeng because there's bandits nearby, could be a problem. I don't want to go and lose a city to something silly like that. So, with no two technologies are finished. So, really, we want to increase authority more than culture, but we have no choice in that, of course. So, shamanism. And definitely calendar because. That gives us much increased authority, which is something we definitely, we're definitely lacking at the moment. So uh, let's do that and get straight into the next turn. And it seems to be stationary for the moment, which is important. It's nice that all our cities are linked by trade networks as well. Once we get the road technology, that will also be nice. So we'll assign one spearman to move out and garrison Xiaoming. Chengdu and Zaidong have enough land for settlers, which is good. Although there's a little bit of unrest getting on here. They're still getting good population growth here, but again, more land can be converted to farm, so we'll assign people to do that. See if the same is true for Zhutong. It is. Let's start building more farms. It's just a case of trying to build these cities up, get more... Ah, oh, so we built a farm there, and the land expanded around it, which is good. So it would be better to expand in this direction, because at least we've got friendly territory over here to expand into. So we'll assign some people to work there as well. We check the technologies. Yeah, nothing next turn either. Straight into the next turn. Oh, oh. So there's enemy infantry there, look. enemy light spearmen. May have to deploy the uh, the Royal Army to try and tackle this threat. 
don't think Chengdu is really capable of. Ah, oh, it is. Okay, am I going to deploy the army or not? Yeah, let's recruit some spearmen from Chengdu. Um, yeah, and then the army in Pai. Yeah, it's going to move out to there because we've also got more people coming up. I think there's more nobles of the enemy general again. Yeah, which seems a good idea because we're going to start to ruin our farms and stuff very quickly if we're not careful. And I don't want that to happen. These are going to stay moving over there. I still think that's a good idea. Right, let's check farm progress. So farm was built there, so we're getting growth. So I'm going to leave that and not assign everyone to building until we get three population. Farm is being built there. Farm is being built there. And a farm is being built here. Okay. So we are all good to go into the next turn and let's see what these enemy infantry think about doing. Okay, so this is a, getting into a bit of a serious situation now. Shendong is starting to get surrounded. Does it have walls? I'm not can't remember. So they're pillaging all my farms, which is bad. Okay, so thankfully I built a wall. Um, okay. It's a good thing I built a wall, but not such a good thing that we're about to be raided. Mm, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'll go there and try and engage them next turn, basically. Uh, these should move to the garrison next turn. So my capital now is undefended, which is obviously not so good. But I think it's fine for now. So I could invest in a boa, but that does have a 50 upkeep per turn, which is rather expensive. To create a steady supply of pottery and ceramics. Okay, we'll build a pottery workshop. There's no upkeep per turn and it generates increased income probably. So there's absolutely no reason to not build a pottery workshop. Uh, population stagnant, so we shall invest in another farm. Shredong has grown, so getting good population growth, but again, I'll invest in a farm. And there's still only two population in Xiaoming, so they've got to wait. And here is losing population because they're being raided. Oh, I forgot to uh, set up a technology in the craft. So what are we going to have? Foundry or mining? Or ceramic roof tiles? Reduces damage, siege damage from fire. Well, given the current situation, that could soon be useful. So ceramic roof tiles it is. And then let's see what happens. You see, they're gathering their troops. This could be a bit of a tough battle. Okay. Battle of Shengdong is on. Oh, heavy spearmen. Going to charge. Oops, some of them have missed. Okay, some of our spearmen have engaged the enemy in sort of noble infantry. Whereas we've sort of. Uh, our nobles are sort of hanging back at the back a little bit, which is unfortunate. But we are still inflicting casualties with our, our long pike room, which is good. Oh, our long pikemen are routing and enemy reinforcements are on the way. Oh dear, this doesn't look good here, people. That shows a. Uh, yeah, so we're taking heavy hour, someone else is routed. Okay, this definitely looks very bad. <laughs> Our naval infantry, our general left. Well, I don't really like our general, so no great shame if he ends up dying. Let's just speed this up a little bit. 
Yeah, so things certainly looking fairly bad for our general at the moment. Yeah, and he's ran away. Okay. So, this is largely bad because. Oops. There we go. Can we go shooting off? Right, so let's immediately get to the recruitment tab and see who we can recruit. Okay, so let's immediately recruit a larger army. She's going to uh, next turn gather over here with the existing forces. So our general did not survive. Um, that's interesting because I wonder what effect that has had on... I just want to select something else. Our authority. Our authority is still kind of low. I would have thought, expected... <laughs> I would have expected that after the last person our authority couldn't possibly get any lower. But um, after it was in the insertion, it's authority will be temporarily reduced. Okay, so we are getting negative authority due to due to the situation of having a new a new bloke, new bloke at the top. But uh, that's okay. Those should be growing soon, but still not growing to another level yet. But these are still building a farm. We need to construct another farm here. Because oh no, sorry, a farm is already being built just across the river. And there the population is falling. Please check the technology, which is fine. And let's go into the next turn. Okay, so looks like another battle is breaking out. But this time they've only got their garrison of light infantry. So they're a bit more outnumbered this time. And we've got reinforcements on the way. Although I don't know why our our noble infantry are, are just sort of standing around. Oh, our pikemen are just standing around. Sorry. More light spearmen smashing on its side. Come on, you cowards! What are you running for now? Go on, get in there. Speed up a little bit. Okay, they're broken. Good. So we now have a reasonable sized army here, available. Okay, I'm glad we beat that battle. Next turn, we'll be looking to move our army up to support Shengdong, to stop the pillaging, and to drive off the enemy, the enemy infantry and uh, defend our city but that will have to do for this episode thank you for watching if you enjoyed it please consider subscribing to the channel it's very helpful thanks guys and i'll see you on the next one